to Judy's place. Listen, y'all, today we will be eating, having, cooking crab patties. Now, I have already added the um, cup of mayonnaise here, and I've added like a teaspoon of Old Bay. You got to have your Old Bay with crab patties. Okay, about a teaspoon of Old Bay. And you want to add a teaspoon of lemon juice, fresh lemon juice, or you can get it out the jar. You know, you can get that real lemon like this. You will need one teaspoon of mustard. Or you can use ground mustard. You will need a half a teaspoon of garlic powder. Half a teaspoon of garlic, minced garlic. Teaspoon of pepper. And I'm going to use like a half a teaspoon of Creole seasoning, Tony Zachary. You're going to mix it up. Then I add just a half a teaspoon of Tabasco, Sriracha, or hot sauce, or whatever you need to put in there to make it a little spicy. Okay, I'm gonna move my bowl over here for my lump crab meat. I have a pound, I'm not saying lump, I have a pound of pasteurized crab meat, okay? The lump is bigger, and listen, you have to squeeze the water off of it, the juice off of it, and then you're gonna add it to your bowl. You're gonna pick through it to make sure no shells are in, gently, you don't wanna tear through it. You want to pick through it gently. Okay. I'm going to taste my sauce over here to see if it tastes pretty good. Do I need to add anything else? I doubt it. It's good. Okay, now I can add my egg. Add one egg, and you always add one egg to one pound of crab meat, and that's what we have, one pound. And you want to add your egg last because you want to be able to taste your sauce. Okay, now you're going to pour your sauce over into your crab. Little at a time. Then you wanna mix it up with your hands. You don't wanna mix it up with a fork or a spoon. You wanna gently go through it. This is not salmon, so gently go through your crab 
and your sauce. Okay? Then you're going to add about, I took 20 crackers, put them in this bag, and rolled it out. Then I, okay, let me see. Add about, I'm going to add about half of that bag. Okay? So that made about 10 crackers. Then you're gonna mix it up again. And a lot of people don't use, like to use fillers like um, breadcrumbs and crackers, but I like to use me a filler in my crab patties. Okay, I'm gonna add just a little bit more filler. pick it up see if it's molding good and that's molding real good it's not falling apart I'm gonna add olive oil spray to my pan. Then I'm gonna take and mold my crab patties into, I would say baseballs, the size of baseballs. Put it down in my pan. And I say you get about four, about four patties. Put your oven on 450. No, I'm sorry, 400. You want them about this size. Okay, next you wanna add a little melted butter. about a half a teaspoon or a teaspoon. Let's go with a teaspoon. Teaspoon of garlic, salt, or powder. You want to add parsley flakes to your butter. About a teaspoon. And mix it up. Then you wanna pour the butter, parsley, and garlic over top of the crab patties. And you can make these in little appetizer sizes. You don't have to have them as big as golf ball or uh, baseballs. And uh, you can fry green onions and regular onions in butter and add it to your crab patty. And uh, like I say, I say it all the time, I tell y'all a lot of times, I'm from Baltimore. And I moved in, uh, moved to Alabama in 79, 1979. And I brought my recipe down with me. Uh, 400 degree oven for about maybe 13 minutes. And, uh, this is what you do. I'll be right back.
Okay, guys, now we're going to make the romelade sauce that goes with the crabs. You can eat it with crabs. You can eat it with fish. You can eat it with shrimp, french fries, or just whatever, seafood. And uh, now I have put about maybe three tablespoons of mayo, uh, a teaspoon of uh, mustard, and a tablespoon of ketchup. I'm going to add sriracha mayo, about a tablespoon, obey seasoning, about a half teaspoon. Tabasco sriracha, about a teaspoon, minced garlic, about a teaspoon, sweet paprika, about a teaspoon. We're going to mix it up well. Let me go ahead and add the lemon. A squeeze of lemon. And if you do have some, um, I'm trying to think of the name of this stuff. Uh, I can't think of it right now. Radish. If you have some horseradish, you can add this to it. Okay, about a half a teaspoon or a teaspoon to a teaspoon. All depends on how spicy you like it. Mmm, -mm, good. Now I'm going to check on my crab patties. What I'm going to do is uh, put a little paprika on top and put it on boil broil for about maybe two two minutes i'm gonna be watching it i'm gonna put it on broil mm -hmm. 